What's up guys, Josh Mosman here. Welcome to This Week at MXA, episode number 48, presented to you by O'Neill Racing. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, we got lots of things about Ryan Villapoto. We got him battling with Carson Brown. Well, maybe not battling, but pulling away from Carson Brown, going all out on a bone stock YZ125. Carson Brown was chasing him, Damon Bradshaw, he was out there chasing him and Caleb Tennant was chasing him as well. Then I went out and battled with Carson Brown afterwards. We had a lot of fun going neck and neck, uh, both on bone stock YZ125s. Got some fun footage with my boss, MXA's managing editor, Daryl Eklund, my boss and my good friend. Uh, we had good times testing the YZ125. Got some cool interviews with Jared McNeil and some of the Yamaha R&D guys. And Villapoto talks to us about the depth of the 450 class right now in AMA Supercross and Motocross. He, th he doesn't think it, the, the field is as deep as it used to be when he was racing. So cool stuff all in this video. RV, how was it? It was great. Yeah? I got my hand pump here. <laughs> but it but was good. It shouldn't be as tired because it's 125, right? If I would have just rode it like I was riding it, yeah, but yeah. it was a race. Yeah, it was a race. <laughs> <laughs> it was a race. It went from play into race. Yeah, you kept him honest. I, I tried my best. He, he had some momentum going for him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about at his track, but I'll be the king at Glen <laughs> All right, all right. No Moto 2? No, I'm tired. Main no. event. <laughs> no. One moto format. No. Caution, this is where we could take advantage, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next moto is two laps. Oh, I fine. need two before we start racing. At least two to fucking warm up a little bit. Yeah. yeah that's we, what I'm we, saying. Went from eating lunch, talking about cooking ribeyes and drinking beer to racing. Before we get into the riding portion of the event and uh, me and Daryl going back and forth testing different things on the bike, I want you guys to listen in on this interview with Ryan Villapoto as he talks about Ferrandis, he talks about consistency in the 450 and 250 classes right now, how deep the field is, and all things like that as we catch up with Ryan Villapoto. Ryan, you rode this bike at Loretta's, so you've pretty much been the only one I know who's ridden this bike in the US. Now it's been kind of, uh, besides the Yamaha R&D guys, now it's finally here for the media to ride. The public can start buying the bike here shortly. What do you think of it? And. Uh, what, what's it like riding today with everybody? I mean, well, first of all, the whole the, the event's just fun being being uh, around everybody and you know different magazine people and just people that I you know don't get to see a, a ton. But uh, overall, it's the, the bike itself is, is awesome. You know, it's a similar chassis, a little bit of some improvements on the motor side of it. But I think big big you know like everybody will notice uh, plastic change, a little bit geometry change with the seat and things like that. So it really makes it gives gives it that modern day motorcycle feel. Totally. Um, totally. You know, so I think, uh, you know, that way, like the chassis and, and the improvement on the motor, like, the, you know, the motor's, the motor's strong and the chassis's good. Um, you know, I think that was just the big thing lacking with a little more of called the, the old style banana seat on the older bikes. So now yeah. that this is the, the updated version is, is really good. Totally, totally. And so you rode it at Loretta's. Have you ridden it much in between then and now? No, so that first day I showed up at Loretta's was the first time I rode it. And then now this is the, the, the second time I got to ride it. So nice. I was able to actually spin a lot of laps, well, a lot, but quite a few laps at Loretta's um, on a track that's obviously a lot smaller than Glen Helen, but was really rough just because of it's Loretta's and there's you know so many bikes on the track. And, and um, there was a lot of fun. Like I really thought <clears throat> going there, I thought I was just gonna go there, do the parade lap <clears throat> and peel off, you know, just like I was supposed to. Um, but I kind of, I got on the bike and you know, the track was fun, the bike was good. So I ended up spinning out like three laps per per parade lap that I did or supposed to do parade lap. Nice. I made three laps out of it. So um, it was just a lot of fun, you know, Sick. so yeah. Sick, all right. And then we've had a lot of fun watching you race like uh, 125 races a couple years ago and 
Pro Circuit's built you some sick bikes. You got some cool pipes coming from Pro Circuit, RV special. So uh, are we gonna see more of that on the new model? You know, I think um, need to find something to go and race it. You know, like the, the cool thing, the projects and races, like those little 125 things that, that Outdoors had was a perfect outlet for, to do make do little project bikes, uh, you know, have Mitch work on, on you know, uh, the 125 and try to get the most out of the you know power wise and and build some new new pipes and testing back and forth so that was fun but right now there's not a lot of there's no real outlet to go do that you know so um hopefully there's something new that that kind of a new fad new something new that pops up because i wouldn't mind doing it yeah two strip national next april there's yeah. like three grand for the winner yeah see three grand like it gets too serious then i'm all, I'm, all, I'm just there to like i don't care if i win or lose uh, you know four or five laps in front of you know um, all you know, my fans and stuff, or the fans that are there watching motocross, is, yeah. is, is, is why I go and do it, you know, all right, and fair. get to hang out with all the old people, all my, all my old buddies and friends, and truck drivers, and, and everybody, team members that you know that still are on the circuit, and I'm not going, so it's cool just to go do that, hang out, and, and be there cool. for that. Super cool. All right, and then so we transitioned over to Yamaha, and uh, Fran has killed it in outdoors this year. Like looking at back at, at the at the pro circuit, you know, with. Supercross and motocross, like what are you surprised about? Were you surprised that Francis was able to get that win or, or is that something that you expected? And then like <clears throat> looking at 22, what are you expecting for Yamaha guys? You know, I think I actually just did a Supercross like uh, Skype or, you know, interview. And we kind of touched on that, like, and I brought up like the inconsistency in 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 the sport right now from, from the top guys. Um, I hear some people say that like it, the field's deeper uh, just because there's more winners, there's, there's, you know, a guy will win and then he'll end up fifth or sixth or eighth or, you know, so I see it as an inconsistency, um, you know, not that the field's any deeper because I think, you know, having myself, James, uh, Chad, Dungey, um, and then we also had the Braytons, the, you know, the, the those other guys that filled from fourth back, you know, so I, I, I don't see that the field's any deeper. I just feel that it, the inconsistency is not there, or the, the consistency is not there. So watching Dylan go out and outdoors, and I mean, you can go back and pull up the sheet. Like he won a lot of races, and he never was off the podium except for maybe once or twice. Yeah. So, you know, it shows you how how consistency wins a championship. Not not only do you have to win races and be fast, um, you know, that was the whole package. There's a lot of guys that can win races and go totally. first, and then get ninth the next weekend, or you know, eighth, and then those are huge point swings, especially when you have somebody that you know, never falters off of, you know, first through third, you know, those are huge point swings. Yeah, totally, totally cool. And then are, how much testing are you doing? Like, are you helping out the, the race team? Uh, no, no, I, since, uh, since it switched over to star, I haven't, I haven't been testing, um, for them. They've also moved back to, um, you know, uh, Florida, Georgia area. So, um, I mean, I, it's not that I wouldn't, I enjoyed it when I was doing it with Justin and, and, um, you know, so if they call, I, I, I can try to help out. But, cool. you know, they seems like they got it kind of figured out at this point. Totally. And then what's next for Ryan Villapoto? Looking ahead, New Year's and next yeah, year? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just, you know, holidays are coming up. So that's everybody's busy time of the year. And and um, being in our in my position anyways, you know, like it's crunch time for, for I guess, magazine guys because everything's trying to get a new story. And, you know, the, all the guys, racers are trying to get ready, testing, you know, be, being fit, training and all that. So we're just kind of sitting back and and you know, wait for Anaheim one. Cool, all right, well thank you for your time. Yep. So it was lots of fun catching up with everybody at the YZ125 intro. Daryl and I also had a blast. Going back and back to back testing the YZ125. If you haven't yet, check out our full MXA tested video on the 2022 YZ because we have put a lot of time into that video, a lot of hours on that bike before we recorded the video. We had six different riders on it, um, varying levels, uh, weights, sizes, and speeds. And uh, we also put it on the dyno as well, figured out that the new YZ is a 
horsepower stronger than last year, um, which is not as much as we expected, but it was significantly better on the track. So make sure to check out that Yamaha YZ125 tested video for motocross action that we just posted on Monday. Here's some more testing from me and Daryl. We're not the same weight? I thought I mean, we were. You guys are close. Said he, we, he, yeah, me and Byron are the same way too. But now, I guess I am. All right, just uh, hop off. Just bounce, please. What'd you say? Just bounce. Whoa. All right, Daryl, <clears throat> how long have you been with MXA? My, going on my 10th year, January 1st. 10th year, all right. Yeah, so. But it's been... 16 years of testing with them. Okay, because you yeah. tested for, yeah, so you were testing the 2006 YZ-125 right when it got this frame? I think it was 2007, 8. Okay. Oh yeah, 2006, yeah. All right, did you ever think, do you ever think you'd be at this point where you'd be riding a new YZ-125? I thought I'd be riding a new YZ-125 about 2010. Really? And then 2015, they came out with new body work, I think. And then it's been a long time coming. And I've been excited. Honestly, the YZ125 has been my favorite bike for yeah. pretty much since I started with MXA. Yeah. So it's it's like a love hate thing. Yeah. You love the bike, but they haven't changed it for so many years. But now look. Here we are. Here we are. 2022. But now I'm getting too kind of old and big for these things. So now, <laughs> now I'm getting a little depressed. Oh man. It should be fun, man. All right. Well. Good get time. after it. Let's see how you how you like it. We got fresh rubber. What are we testing? What are we testing? What are we trying? We're trying gearing. We're gonna go one up on the rear. Early in the day, had a gurgle on bottom. It felt like it needed uh, to store those gear ratios, especially on top. We got rid of the gurgle. We really don't need to try one, one up. Uh, the gear between fourth and fifth really wide. So we just want to see if we shorten that up. It'll be better, but I think we'll be shifting too much. So right, try it out and see how it is. on that thing and you did way more than just one lap well you were filming me i don't want to like give up the ghost man i need to like you know uh, you, look like, it, though. you look Three. like you look like you had fun right at home on this thing it's fun this bike is still like such a blast to ride it's just easy to ride it's fun it doesn't do anything nothing funny this chassis i feel like dip definitely gives you more confidence it holds up better it doesn't dive the end is a little tricky. I think jetting is a little rough. It comes on like strong right off the bat. Dips. Then it comes on strong again. So it's kind of hard when you're exiting corners if you're not like on it. So I'm sure we can fine tune that, no problem. Yeah. So as far as fun factor, man, like. You look like you had fun. When, if you're not racing, or if you're just racing against a bunch of these, it's like the most fun you have on a dirt bike. <laughs> totally. I, mean, it, I mean, it really is. Like a 450, like. You can't throw around like this. You really got to be more like precise. This you can just kind of just throw it in there. Yep. Good times. Yeah, hey, pick these up without getting mess messy all over. It. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day, huh? How are you gonna feel on the 125 after three tacos and I was some one, nice I was and one, a, a 208 when we started. That was gonna be 210, so that's a like quarter <laughs> horsepower. Ooh, and some horchata too. Yeah, well maybe, yeah maybe half horsepower after this. If oh, I get seconds. Nice. It was also really cool to see Jared McNeil. He's a freestyle guy, uh, and he's also an ambassador for Yamaha there, as well as many Yamaha test riders and uh, people who work for Yamaha. They're supporting the event. It's fun to catch up with these guys. Let's dive into the next couple of interviews. Just catching up. You're you're here at Glen Helen, testing YZ125. There's no no ramps here. I haven't seen any ramps here, and uh, and really no massive jumps, but you're having fun and you look, look like you're having a good time. So what's going on? How's it feel to be Jared McNeil at Glen Helen right now? It feels sick. I mean, just to be a part of Yamaha's program, to be out here and uh, representing them and 
I guess just breaking in the new 125 with all the magazines and everyone, it's pretty sick. Like, uh, it's a dream come true for me. Being a part of this kind of stuff's amazing. So, yeah, being a freestyler now and kind of getting back to my roots with the tracks and riding the, the new 125 sick. I'm stoked. It's a, it's a good feeling, let's say that. Yeah. And this bike is sick. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And uh, you, people don't, might not know, but you, you rip the tracks more than people probably think, right? Yeah, yeah, try and get out there as much. Obviously, uh, my freestyle program's a little busy, but uh, I mean, last year I got a lot, little bit more track time in than usual. And this year, honestly, with Yamaha, I've been actually getting a lot of private track time in, so it's been really cool. Super cool. Yeah. Super cool. Definitely. And what's next on your program? You've been doing a lot of Nitro Circus rounds. Yep. A couple whip contests. What's up? What are you up to now? And like, what, what's it been like traveling with Nitro Circus? Yeah, it's sick. We just, uh, we just finished up the North American tour, so we've got a bit of a break now. So I think I'm going to enjoy my time at home with my newborn son. Um, but yeah, it was sick to get back on tour. Like, we had a year and a half off, no shows, so felt really good to get out there and put a smile on people's faces right in front of a crowd again and, totally. and do shows I think uh, that's why we love riding dirt bikes it's kind of showing off and putting yeah. on a show for people so yeah it felt really good to get out there and ride in front of people again it was amazing super cool I almost forgot man congratulations on becoming a dad thank you I'm dad life now I'm uh, like some of the older boys I'm a vet now <laughs> good stuff Heck good yeah. stuff all right well good to see you dude thank you cheers all right Tukarski oh. this week in MXA yes sir uh, Yamaha YZ125, how long has it been since you found out that you're, because you're Yamaha R&D, you're a test rider, the bike is finally out now, we're testing it and finally riding it. How long have you been working on this or like messing around with YZ125? If I could, I don't know, not too long. Really? Yeah, but okay. yeah, it's all a little different, but I can't remember the first time we rode it, but there's this obviously year. some... Yeah, there's definitely been some some work in it for sure. Nice. And you excited about it? Feel yes. Excited it's, that it's finally here. It makes me want to think I can go race again because nice. I feel like I could go that fast. Yeah. But not for that long, as we found out a couple <laughs> weeks ago. No. But yeah, it is a really fun bike, and anyone can hop on it and feel like a hero. All right, good stuff. And what's your favorite part about you know R and D uh, Yamaha? Your job? Uh, I think the process of making a bike starting with something and then seeing it transform and become better and just the, the the hours spent just lap after lap after lap nitpicking and then finally seeing all the hard work we put in years in advance and then seeing it come out and then seeing you guys be happy about it is really the the biggest part for us i think is all the hard work we put in and then to see it come out and hopefully be good well, is always a ideal and hopefully not a bad problem. But cool. All right, yeah. well, good stuff. Thank you. Travis Preston, uh, YZ125 is finally yep. here. Long time coming. How's it feel? Does it feel like weight off your shoulders, excitement that it's finally here? We're hitting the track with it yeah. in the public. I'm excited because, you know, we've, worked, we've been working on the bike for a while now, so we've known about it for years. So it's nice now for you guys to actually ride it and, and enjoy it for yourselves. Totally, totally. And what about you versus Tukarski? Who's better on these things? I think on the 125, I have him covered. You really? Know? Yeah, I think so. Nice. I think so, yeah. Nice. All right. Well, I, I hope to see one of those battles someday uh, soon. All right. Hey, maybe you'll see it today. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> And uh, and then what's what's something that most people don't know about this bike? Because some people are questioning if it's an all new engine or not. But I mean, it's it's got updates top to bottom, right? Yeah, yeah. The uh, it has all new engine, uh, suspension's new, body's new. So yeah, the 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 bike feels more new, modern. It actually, and I think something that people will notice about this bike, it feels lighter. Yeah. yeah it feels a lot lighter than it actually is. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty yeah. cool. Is it, is, do you know if the weight's any lighter or heavier than it was last weight, year? The, the, the weight is close, okay, but cool. the weight feeling is, yeah. is much lighter. Totally, totally. It definitely feels light out there, so that's fun. Yeah. Perfect track too, thank you guys. Yeah, you're welcome, yeah. Sweet. All right guys, so it's always fun to get Daryl out there testing with me. Daryl is uh, older than me, and he's, he's in his 30s, but uh, he was still ripping it though. You could tell Daryl was having a fun. He's uh, He's good on any bike he rides, and with this bike, because it's a 125 and a little bit easier to ride, he had his, uh, some more endurance to go a little longer than, than just a lap, so that was fun. Um, good times riding and testing with Daryl as always. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I mentioned, make sure to check out our full tested video on that YZ125. 
Also, motocrossactionmag.com for news, reviews, race results, product tests, bike tests, shootouts, and more. We've got a lot of information on our website and uh, more kind of upcoming news as we get closer and closer to the Supercross season.